Princess Kate confronted Prince Harry and alleges he betrayed royals. According to reports, the Princess of Wales reportedly addressed her brother-in-law just before the funeral of the late Queen Elizabeth. Shortly before Queen Elizabeth Hughes' burial, Kate Middleton allegedly confronted Prince Harry and accused him of having betrayed the royal family. The Princess of Wales moved between Princes William and Harry throughout the ceremony. However, now to love claimed that she was sick of her brother-in-law. According to The Mirror, the website, which cites royal sources, asserts that Kate was harmed by the Duke of Sussex's controversial memoir, Spare and his subsequent public appearances. The royal family was frequently criticized during these outings. According to insiders, Kate spoke with Harry a few hours prior to the funeral. According to the website, an insider stated, Kate knew she would only have this one chance to talk to Harry before he cut himself off from the family once more. Given all that was going on between them, there was never going to be a chance for the ceremony itself. According to sources cited by the website, Kate wanted Harry to know how hurt she felt. She allegedly caused friction between the two princes with his behavior. It is not stated that William participated in the discussion. Despite the fact that the sources claimed he had given Kate permission to talk with his brother. According to reports, the insider went on, Kate never would have imagined that Harry would harm his own family in this way. She remembers how close Harry and Kate used to be. Why did you betray us? is the one simple thing she wanted to ask Harry, because she felt like she had also lost a brother in all of this chaos. The future queen was recently spotted visiting serving members of the First Queen's Dragoon Guards, QDG, on Wednesday of this week while dressed in full army gear. During her formal visit to Robertson Barracks at Swanton Morley in Norfolk, Kate Middleton was spotted grinning and interacting with families as well as regimental members. During her tour of the location, the 41-year-old queen, who was named Colonel-in-Chief of the QDG by King Charles in August, even tried her hand at piloting a drone. During her visit, she also handed several troops and women medals, and she even granted the regimental mascot pony a significant promotion.